So she's back again, this 2019 ZR1 convertible wrapper car, 102 miles. It's getting so hard to find good quality cars, especially the ZR1s. Don't mind having this one back at all. Checks all of the right boxes in terms of options. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's probably the most stunning ZR1 that we've ever had to date. And I know that's saying a lot with all the ones we've had. The curb appeal, eye appeal, it is just eye candy with all of the different options and how it looks. That Corvette racing yellow paint with the chrome wheels. I mean, the car is just screaming for attention. Um, looks so, so good. We'll start right on the hood with all of that carbon fiber that you guys see. But this car is actually optioned with the Jake logo. Really, really neat, cool logo um, that you see. Not many cars had that option but it just looks so good. Kind of breaks up the carbon fiber a little bit. It gives you that uh, nice graphic. Under the hood, you're packing 755 horsepower with the LT5 engine. I'll pop the carbon fiber hood here for you guys. Super, super light. There's so much carbon fiber all over this car, and we'll show you guys that as we go through it. So there is that LT5, which is uh, giving you, like I said, 755 horsepower, one year only for the 2019 ZR1s in terms of production, and the only year that that motor was made. So pretty cool, pretty neat that you had a one year only car with the ZR1s and that motor no longer being produced. There are no crate motors with the LT5. So 2,953 total ZR1s for the model year of 2019. A lot of people were interested in the C8s, kind of lost sight of how special the C7s were. Um, only 512 total convertibles. So that's including manual transmissions and the automatic. This is an automatic. So not many uh, made, and I can tell you there's not many convertibles, regardless of transmission, that are gonna be in this condition, in the wrapper, low miles, option like this. It is one that is a collector's dream. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I'm telling you, it is just a, a beautiful car. Every time we've had it, first time we've seen it, we just fell in love with it. The chrome wheels, I always thought were really, really sharp on the convertibles. Um, just a really good look. Doesn't really look as good, I think, in, in the coupe form, but the convertibles, when you have those chrome wheels, match your yellow calipers, which were an option. You have those, again, Jake center caps. Just little details that go such a long way, especially when you're specking out um, a car like this. Uh, this really was the pinnacle for Corvettes. The C7 body style was such a, a great look and kind of the end of an era, not just with the front engine, um, but before the C8s kind of moved to the supercar world. And I think these will always hold a special place in the hearts of uh, collectors and anybody who's kind of followed the Corvettes along throughout the years. Uh, it's kind of the, the turning of a page from the C7 to the C8. And a lot of people, uh, myself included, am glued to the, the, to the look and the aesthetics and the performance of the C7. So again, so much carbon fiber. Um, we'll start even here with the wing. That's part of the ZTK package, giving you all of that downforce. So when they were making the ZTKs, uh, they, they didn't realize that you would not be able to track the, the convertibles unless you had a roll cage. So there's not a lot of ZTK cars that were built because you can't track them unless there are uh, a roll cage, which obviously they do not have, especially coming stock. Um, the ZTK package on the coupes would come up with the splitters, the winglets right here would attach to the splitter kind of coming up halfway, but there are no winglets, which we get asked this question a lot and it's a great question. The winglets will not be a part of the convertibles again, because they cannot be tracked. You have your carbon fiber, <coughs> carbon fiber vents on the side. Your ground effects, all carbon fiber as well. And this right here is absolutely crazy. I mean, we've had so many ZR1s, but none that were ever in the wrapper, including some single digit mile cars, um, a few double digit mile cars. That is all the factory plastic on the seat. Uh, 
on the door sills. Your armrest even going up along here on your passenger side. So much factory documentation, so much factory accessories with it. Still have your nice poster here with the car specific VIN number, which these are really, really difficult to find because the first owners usually kept them if they were to sell the car. Window sticker here. $150,000 plus, so much other paperwork included in here too. You got your battery tender, you got your brake duct covers, um, so much, so much stuff. Your yellow stitching, all leather interior. Yellow paddle shifts even on the steering wheel. And this car is a 3ZR, so you'll see all that carbon fiber on the inside of the interior as well. Bunch of creature-friendly options. And that was a $10,000 option for the 3ZR, which was the top trim model for the ZR1s. So in the trunk, more documentation. We have the factory plastic for the driver's seat, so you can cover that up too if you're someone who's looking to tuck the car away. If you wanna drive it, that's up to you. The exhaust in the back, you'll see the four pipes. You have three different modes that you can put the car into. You have the touring mode, you have the sport mode, and the track mode. So sport and track mode, definitely a little bit higher volume in terms of the exhaust, really good sound. Every time these start up from a cold start, it's a great sounding car. Um, the C8s, I know it's a flat plane crank, people love the sound of those, but to me, the C7, when you start those up from a cold start, especially the ZR1s, obviously sound phenomenal. The driver's side, like I said, 102 miles on the odometer right now. Full leather interior. The yellow stitching. There's not one option on this car that I would change. It is just so well done, so clean. And like I said, to start the video, I'm gonna go out and say it's the best looking ZR1 that we've had, which again is why I don't mind owning it for a second time, especially with everything that comes with it. It's right up our alley, fits our brand, everything we love about the cars that we have uh, kind of come through JFK Auto, whether it's in our inventory or our collections, low miles, collector grade, highly optioned, everything with it, and just a, a great car. And uh, again, kind of the, the last of its kind with the front engine, um, the last ZR1 with the front engine, 755 horsepower. And, uh, you know, I don't really ever see the Corvettes kind of coming back to the front engine. They're going to continue to most likely be the mid engines. So these cars, you know, moving forward, uh, definitely a collector's dream. And this one for sure, a collector's dream.